What is up YouTube? This is T Guy Kicks. Hope you guys are all having a great day today. Before I get into this video, if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, there's notifications every time I drop on these bangers, hit the like button, hit the share button, do all of those great things for me. Also follow me on Instagram at the real he got kicks. Hey you guys, today's a video I do every year. Uh, this is gonna be a little different because I'm gonna do top 10 pickups of 2021. But then I'm also going to do top 10 releases of 2021 as well. So it's going to be two different videos. But today we're doing my top 10 pickups. So this one, I'm going to try to not make it that long. So I'm going to kind of talk about it, the shoe a little bit. And then move on to the next because it is 10 shoes. So it could get kind of long if I talk a lot. So no further ado, man. Let's go ahead and get started. These are in no particular order. I don't have them listed from you know my favorite to least favorite of the 10 or whatever this is just you know whichever one i grab first basically so start the list off uh number 10 whatever is the air jordan one university blue this right here is at the top of the list for the jordan ones of the year uh, if not number one it's up there for sure so definitely had to be on my list and i just love the color blocking and every oh man i just love this sneaker so much um so right there's that one then something i've been trying to get for a while uh would have to be the university red the saint john dunk lows this one right here i had to have shout out to tri-state souls man that was nice of you uh to tell me your personal pair but this was one i loved i'm so glad to have this in the collection that one and of course uh this sneaker i had to go back and get again uh needed it in the collection for sure and that was the air jordan one low travis scott og the mocha by far probably my favorite travis scott other than the fours right now or it, it may it kind of flip-flops between this and the fragment low honestly uh, both of them i like pretty much equally and then of course off-white air jordan 5 you know you can't really go wrong with this one, uh, and I had to put an off-white in here for sure. Uh, shout out to Virgil, man, appreciate everything you did. Uh, but these definitely had to make the list for sure. And then, of course, the Fragment Low Travis Scott's. This had to make the list. This just had to make the list. I mean, it's, it, you know, to me, I just love the color blocking, everything about it, the collab with Fragment, like everything about this sneaker I loved. And of course, one of my grails, the Air Jordan 3 White Cement. Definitely super glad to have added this to the collection this year. This was one that I needed. I have the black cement, of course, but of course, you can't really go wrong with that Nike Air on the back. They really did this one right. I love this sneaker so much. Like, that sneaker means so much to me, and it just the nostalgia, you know. I feel like every single collector needs that in their collection, at least and not out yet might looks like it's not coming out till it next year but i did pick these up in 2021 the air jordan one patent bread leather these right here i think are crazy i love this shoe i like the ideas on it you know a lot of people don't like an all patent leather you know i usually don't but i just liked how this looked uh with it so that had to make the list for me and of course this double up that i have is of my favorite favorite sneaker of all time and you know can't really go wrong with it the air jordan 4 white cement i've searched and searched and searched at conventions to hopefully be able to find a double up of this and when i finally did i grabbed it no ifs ands or buts about it i grabbed them and i'm super glad to have added these uh, double up to the collection of these cannot wait cannot wait to rock these this is definitely this is probably my favorite i would probably say this would be my favorite of the year for sure uh and then this one is got pushed back again to january of 2022 but i did pick it up in 2021 again so it counts i guess um would be right here the air jordan 4 red thunder this 
I love this sneaker. Color blocking, everything about this sneaker, I love it. I absolutely love everything about it. You cannot go wrong with this sneaker, I feel like. So, definitely had to make it in my top 10. Um, I mean, probably be in anybody's top 10, for real. I mean, anybody that was able to pick them up, um, even though they are ridiculously expensive right now. But, you know, gotta pay to play sometimes. And of course, last but certainly not least, the Air Jordan 11 Cool Gray. I mean, I doubled up. I love this shoe. I feel like everybody loves this shoe, as they should. Uh, this was one that we waited 10 years for. Super glad to have added it to the collection. Everything about this sneaker I love. Y'all know I'm not the biggest 11 fan, but this was one that I felt like I had to have. And I've had it before, I had the 2011s, and you know, it seems like every 10 years they're giving these uh, retro, uh, the Cool Gray at least. So but this one right here, the Cool Gray 11, had to be on the list. I love this sneaker so much. Um, I would probably have an honorable mention to, it would probably be the UNC one, uh, which that, like the UNC OG one, like that, that UNC one, uh, I have it up here. Uh, I haven't dropped a video on when I picked that up yet, so that's one reason why I wasn't on the list, and also it just kind of goes back and forth on the list, off the list, on the list, off the list. Uh, it's one of those, but I feel like this is a pretty strong list. You know, a little diverse, kinda. I don't know. You know, there's, there's some old, there's some new, there's some not out yet, you know, so I feel like it's kind of diverse, you know, basically all Jordan and Nike though, but still, it is what it is. I feel like that that's basically what I wear anyway. I don't really wear any Adidas. You know, I did pick up those two New Balances, but you know, that's, that's all right. But definitely, I think, I don't know. I think that this is a pretty good list. Let me know in the comment section down below what your top 10 pickups of the year are, because definitely like, I, I like mine. Some people definitely probably have better lists uh, because you know, I, I tried to stick to everything I liked this year instead of just kind of picking up everything. Uh, it was hard because of course to do content, you know, it does get harder that way, but You know is what it is um, So yeah, I'd like to know everybody else's list down in the comment section down below What is your top 10 pickups of 2021 because the year is coming to an end? sad, but it is and Christmas coming up so, you know, some people's lists may change throughout Christmas, but this is definitely my top 10 list. And I don't think that's gonna change much because uh, I basically got everything I wanted. I do want the Atmosphere or Bubblegum ones, but that probably wouldn't make the list of top 10. So yeah, definitely for sure. That's my top 10. Let me know in the comment section down below. I love you guys. Again, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell notifications, hit the like button, hit the share button. Love you guys, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.